hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this logo reveal animation with the help of after effects and trap code particular plugin so if you want to support this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and don't forget to hit that like button so it will motivate me to create more and more tutorial like this so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation and width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration is 10 seconds or let's choose I think 10 seconds looks good and choose background color is white color and simply hit OK then choose gradient and guide option and hit on title section then press ctrl y to create a solid background layer for the background color you are free to choose any color because this is gonna be my particular layer so i'm going to type 30 killer and hit ok then go to the effect and presets panel and search for particular effect this is a plugin so i'm going to double click to apply this and if you see we cannot see anything over here so for right now press ctrl k on your keyboard to open the project settings and i'm going to choose black color hit ok and hit ok so as you guys can see we can see those particles like this now press ctrl n to create another composition and let's call it as logo and hit ok press ctrl i to select your logo i'll select this logo and i'll simply hit import and i'll bring my logo over here press s for scaling option and scale it like this now i'm going to select my ellipse tool i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill i want only stroke and the stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pixels like this and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling options scale it zero create one keyframe and go to around three seconds and or let's say two seconds and i'm going to increase the scale of this somewhere around like this now let's go to the start select this in search option i'm going to type stroke and create one keyframe over here hit u go over here and again create another keyframe okay now go to the start and initially i need to increase this scale of it to 50 so we will get this kind of stuff now press f4 and let's make this alpha max so now if you see we are going to get this kind of stuff like this now go to the main animation or before that go to the logo press f4 select all of them and convert them into 3d like this and hit u and go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings i have this logo let's simply bring this over here enable this option and this option and let's hide this for now select this particular go to the effects go to the emitter and in continuous i'm going to choose continuous emitter type i'm going to choose layer like this and in layer emitter as you can see layer it's none so let's choose logo so if you hit play as you can see we cannot see anything except this point because our particular per second is very less so let's increase to zero over here and let's see what we will get as you guys can see the particles are emitting let's increase another zero so as you can see we are getting something like this okay so for now the velocity i'm going to choose 10 seconds only and let's see we'll get something like this if you image size let's choose 400 like this okay now we will go to the physics we will go to the air and in gravity as you can see it's zero let's increase it 10 as you can see the particles are coming down so let's make this 100 and if you play from the start as you can see as soon as the particles are emitting they are falling down okay so let's increase the particle per second to let's say five over here and let's see the number of particles are increasing like this
okay so now if you go to the emitter i mean this logo because of this they are going to emit the particles from this one like if you select this if you hit you go to the start let's uh, make this 10 and if you go over here let's make this 5 and let's see what difference we will get as you can see because of that we are getting less particles emitting or from here like this so let's go over here initially let's make this 30 and at the end let's make this 10 only okay like this now select this uh, we will go to the particle options because our emitter settings are done if you make this 200 so they will fall down rapidly let's see like this okay now uh, we will go to the air and we will go to the wind if you increase the wind value like this you will get this kind of results and if you make this over here and let's make this over here and let's see this animation now as you can see we are getting this kind of effect okay so now add turbulence field also so turbulence fields it's gonna affect the position so i'll make the position 20 or let's say 100 let's see what will happen let's make the quarter resolution as you can see we are getting a little bit turbulence effect let's make this 500 like this as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff and scale let's choose 4 and let's see what will happen now we will get this kind of stuff now as you can see the particles are emitting rapidly so for that what we need to do we need to go to the logo we will select those keyframes and we will move this to 5 and let's see this animation now so as you can see we are getting this kind of effect if you see this in full resolution we'll get this kind of stuff now let's go to the particle a particular effect uh, and as you guys know that we have manipulated this uh, wind effect we will choose this wind y over here so it will go from here so now if you see this animation we will get this kind of effect like this now let's go to the aux system and we will enable this continuously like this particle feathers we will make this zero aux system means now particles are going to emit from each and every particle so we need to uh, reduce some settings so for that what we need to do over here set color at start or let's make random from gradient or anything like this so let's choose over life or something random from gradient it will look like this let's at the start should be good and type inherit from main okay so now we will change our setting let's make this 2 or let's say 5 and particle per second let's make this 100 like this let's choose size 2 and color random or let's say color from main is 100 so it will take the color from the main and now let's choose size over life sorry and in presets we will choose this preset and if you want you can increase the particle per second to 500 like this so now let's choose third resolution because it will get a little bit heavy but our animation will look good so make this full so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff now let's go to the particle and we don't want any feathers for the particles and life second is 3 looks good to me and let's choose size random 100 so we'll get this kind of size and let's choose 2 or let's say 4 I think 4 looks good 
so now we will get this kind of particles emitting from the logo and after the emission is done like which is at 5 second they are gonna gone and in particle size over life we need to choose this presets only like this so if you see this now let's choose quarter resolution let's go to 4 okay so this is how our animation looks gonna look like now in logo we have this now let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 as you can see we have this logo simply hit ctrl D and we will bring this logo over here like this double click select the shape layer we don't want any stroke so let's delete this stroke we want fill so let's choose fill like this so we will get this kind of the effect now uh, if you want you can select this you can go to the effect and presets and you can search for blur effect apply gaussian blur and let's make this 40 like this so we will get this kind of stuff and if you think that particles are too much then what you need to do you need to simply go over here in emitter you can make this instead of five let's choose one and let's see how this animation looks now it will look something like this and instead of that you can go over here you can choose this blurriness to 10 only like this so we will get this kind of stuff so yep this is how you can create this kind of animation it will take a little bit time to load this thing properly and there is another thing you can do you can simply enable this thing first and then you can try to reveal this logo like this So this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal animation. So that's it for the today's video. We will see you in my next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.